What is up, guys? Yoda the Wise here. Uh, today we're going to talk about a new commander. That commander is Iron Fist Craig. Let's see what he's all about and if he's going to be a game changer. So right here you see Iron Fist Craig. He's one of the newer infantry commanders. Uh, he does have some interesting things to his skills. And that's what we're going to cover today. And we're going to see what it if it's going to be a game changer, to be honest. His first skill is lightning strike it's got a 60 percent chance to trigger so what it does is it blights all units in the target's column prohibiting them from recovering hp and causing soldiers equal to 60 percent of the initiator's population to die in the next action damage dealt this way cannot exceed 1000 percent of normal attack damage now his second skill is a passive skill uh it's frail mark Infantry inflicts a frail mark on all enemies after being attacked. Each mark reduces all enemies' damage by 12% at level 60, and skill trigger per, uh, probability by 12% for one round cannot be removed. The problem with frail mark is you don't necessarily see it, and that's what makes it difficult to gauge whether it's really doing anything. I do know that Blightning Strike does stack from what I could see. Uh, so that back row usually gets hit pretty hard when blighting, uh, blightning strike um, does end up triggering or going off. Think of blightning strike kind of in the same fashion, the way that Elf's curse works. So what happens is, is he triggers blightning strike. It, you'll see these red arrows on the column that's being attacked, which would be either, you know, like, yeah, one in four two and five or three and six and as soon as that slot goes it triggers blight it's a same it works kind of the same way as elf's curse does and it does a pretty good hefty amount of damage but we'll, we'll go into that here in a moment and we'll we'll take a look so let's take a look at how craig works so this first one we're going to see here was a win took some damage um now every time that i that i do these it's not necessarily the best gear that you should do for that commander it's pretty much the best gear i have so we want to make sure we're getting the best results in that sense but in my opinion this is probably a good route to go for craig when it comes to uh the gear set you see here so i'm going to slow it down you're going to see blightning straight right there. And it, it goes off even though he misses. So as you saw, it took out almost half or a little more than half of his troops there. After they started to initiate or Gilly started to initiate her attack, essentially. And something that I've also noticed, too, which we'll we'll, we'll show here in a moment. Um, if your slot that triggered blightning um, is 100% destroyed before blightning can trigger, then it disappears. Uh, the skill disappears off of the enemy, essentially. So just something to kind of maintain there as to why I don't think he's necessarily the answer, but he's definitely going to be interesting in one slot busting. Anyways, you get the point there. So another one. This is a good example of how um, we'll go with this one here. So this is a good example on how. What I mean by is not necessarily the answer, but if you're doing one slot busting and your opponent has this broken fortress, well, at least it ignores Broken Fortress. And I'm going to show you that right now. So he's even put on uh, canes. But we're going to see Blightning Strike. It's going to hit. Or I'm sorry, the attack is going to miss. But as you saw, Blightning Strike ignored Broken Fortress. Um, although it did not do as much damage as it did to the gilly so i'm not sure if that's still playing a role in there in terms of gear sets 
or um, if it 100% just ignores everything when it does that because in so all in all that that hit right there I don't know if you know the gear sets are playing a like I said a, a role in this because he should have he should have lost at least 756 um, troops there on that first slot with lightning strike if but as it always goes um, seven pirate in their uh, infinite ways that they calculate math doesn't always add up the way it's supposed to um but 60 percent would have been about 756 instead of 551 but the the point of that replay was to show that it does ignore broken fortress is it the answer to broken fortress absolutely not as you saw there so this was an interesting way to do it here to where we put uh craig versus craig and this one does give a good example on how his lightning strike doesn't allow the troops to regenerate, essentially. Now, what we were trying to do is we were trying to see if this ranger slot here would still do the damage with lightning strike as a di or more damage because of it's based on how many troops are still alive. But the problem is it's based on how many troops are still alive. So in theory if he didn't have andromeda trigger right here we could have been able to see that but at the end of the day i end up killing these this ranger slot first before we could see that but i do believe that it doesn't matter if you're using rangers or t12 um and this is where it can become a interesting one slot buster with craig uh if you're just using infantry because you don't have to connect you just have to have it trigger and um i think that's gonna be an interesting interesting uh thing into the meta there to where it might even you know be very cost effective if somebody has broken uh broken fortress or you just sit there heal craig a hundred times as you go and whittle away through their uh slot one for example um you just you just got to make sure you have first strike every time otherwise you know that blight isn't going to trigger and do any damage as you saw like i didn't have anything come off a of blight on my slot one from those rangers um but well we'd have to we'd have to check that out but i i'm 100 percent confident that it's still going to do a lot of damage the question is though if somebody has tear suppression because this is not something that we tested if you're using rangers if that tier suppression is going to be ignored or not which i would assume it would be just because of the way it ignores broken fortress so there i hope you got to see how like when his blights got off um my the tier 12 i was using they weren't recovering the way they were supposed to so with this replay we see that the lightning strike does chew through Hancock's um defense or the feral strength fairly quickly and the other half of it is I was testing Iron Craig between Sniper and Wings of Eternity as you saw in the other videos it and even in this one he doesn't have to connect for there to be damage or for uh lightning strike to tr um do damage to the other um column so i believe wings of eternity is going to be a better fit for a fourth skill for him and um that you know sniper isn't necessarily needed if you want him to hit harder and hit more then yeah you want to put an auto hit like sniper on otherwise wings of eternity is going to be fine it just depends on how you plan on utilizing him as a whole so when it comes down to troop type for Iron Craig, it's really not going to make a big difference which one you pick. Because once again, it doesn't matter if he hits or not. It's probably going to be best to use this one right here, the Galaxy ones, um, just because of their regenerative. And then as we saw in the Craig versus Craig, even the Dream Eaters might be a good fit for survivability. Because right now, the point is, is you need to at least survive for that Blight to go off. It doesn't necessarily matter um, 
if you hit or not because lightning strike is gonna it, it's it's kind of like elf's curse it's gonna tri- once it's once it's set and it triggers it triggers um but you do need the troops there for it to trigger or remain there to trigger so I I would go with one of these two as the main for for him, um, but it, like I said, it really doesn't matter uh, if you were even using just rangers for the slot one busting and um, the, what it comes down to with this commander the the troop type doesn't really it doesn't matter any one of these will work, but in terms of survivability I, I'd say these two are the best. All right, I hope that gives you a good understanding of. Uh, Iron Fist Craig. Um, once again, I don't know. You just don't know until people start maining him and seeing how big of an impact he's going to be on things, or you know, people start trying to really use him in a one slot capacity. Um, but you know, he he could be a a pocket um, commander to have and you know, kind of mess around with until we find a niche for him. Um, one biggest thing to take away is he does ignore uh, Broken Fortress, um, and he does ignore, um, you know, the damage reduction, essentially. And um, so, yeah, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, have a good one.